Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I have multiple things I want to discuss with y'all, not only for the severe weather, which is ramping up and getting serious, not only for those temperatures coming in, plus the tropics, plus what is else out there that we need to worry about. So I will put timestamps in the description, but I beg you, please watch what I have to tell you next because it is very serious and it's getting very strong. Now, as of this morning and as of this thing, I don't know what this is. I've never seen this go on with the software before. That is very strange. Now, we do have Tropical Storm Brett, and it is weakening down as it moves to the west. And you can see with the model guidance that is still showing that it can go towards our Bay of Campeche. I will show you what I have found on that information. And we still have Tropical Storm Cindy. It's moving 15 miles per hour to the west. Right now, it has max winds at 47 miles per hour. It is strengthening up. It's still predicted to be a tropical depression. Still turn and get pushed by our steering winds, getting a lot of shear. But maybe after it gets away from all of the shear and the steering winds will continue to push it to the north, northeast, it could strengthen up to a possible hurricane in the Atlantic. Still not showing any threats for the U.S. I will show you all the possible information and I will update you on the severe weather because the pattern is really getting stronger. It's just pretty much going from bad to worse, not just tropics, not just severe weather. We have other things that we need to think about. So thank you so much for your time. You've never been here before. Make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. I usually don't upload from Friday, from sundown to sundown Saturday. That is Sabbath. And you're not supposed to work according to God unless lives are at risk. And I think for a second week in a row, I think I'll need to break that again because I think it is going to be strong. Because matter of fact, it's getting even stronger. We have severe weather going all the way to the East Coast now for North Carolina and more people. So let me show you all the latest updates. I'm gonna try not to take up too much of your time, guys, but I have to show you every information that I have found. Now this Canadian wildfire smoke is still coming to our country. Never been here before. I've been showing these updates even before it hit New York, and I'm showing we have strong values coming. Matter of fact, it is unhealthy for today. So you can see right here with HRRR that it has a strong level coming in, especially for Wisconsin, and it's right here in Milwaukee, where I'm at now. I'm from the south, but I'm up here now. I wanted to see snow, and believe me, I got more than I bargained for. But you can see with HRRR that it is literally bringing in stronger levels as we come through for Friday night into Saturday. And this is getting to where it's going to be on that hazardous level, potentially, just like New York has. Right now, we have unhealthy levels, and that's this level. But this also is going to be moving in for Saturday as well. Very strong levels coming in as this surface low forms up and it's going counterclockwise. So it's pulling all this down, guys. And look at those strong levels that we have coming and possibly more coming after this. So here's our latest outlook. And all the yellow is all moderate. It's all 51 to 100 particulates. But you have not only over here for southwestern Arizona, also over here for the upper Midwest. And this is unhealthy for sensitive groups in the orange. And this is unhealthy in the red. So everyone in the orange, you are unhealthy if you have sensitive groups, asthma and such, or lung problems, breathing problems. But all this red, all the way from Milwaukee, all the way headed to the north. This is unhealthy for today. And that is what I showed you in the beginning. And this isn't even that strong that's coming in for tomorrow. So please help me alert others because I don't see anyone else talking about this. I've been talking about, I've been pretty much the only one talking about this. And this is pretty serious when it gets to the air quality of what you breathe. Thank you so much. And you can also see with the GO satellite as we go from Monday and on, there's a good chance for this to come right back in from Monday, get even stronger as it goes through Tuesday maybe go even further into our country. And then Wednesday, it's just more possibilities is coming out of this potential smoke coming in the days ahead. Now, we also need to talk about this. This is a ring of fire. Now, usually they're talking about the volcanoes in the Pacific, but a ring of fire is when we have a heat dome that feeds intense severe weather like the violent tornado that we had in West Texas and all those high 90 to 100 miles per hour wind gust squall line that went all the way to Houston. So this ring of fire we have now is building and bringing more. And you can see the latest update with the euro on the tropopause way up in our atmosphere that as we look at all this heat that's going to be pushing in for today, this is going to continue for the next week, guys. It's going to continue to bring all the severe weather that we have. That's what you see right there for the upper Midwest, the North Central, and it is going to carry towards North Carolina, the East Coast. But look how it just builds as we go through the weekend from Monday, Tuesday. It just keeps building 
all the way towards the end of next week. You can also see here from the Euro that it is bringing a lot of strong heat in the seas all this week. As you go through Saturday, it comes up again. As you go through Sunday, once again, a lot of strong heat in the seas. Monday, it comes back. Tuesday is going to come back. This is going to continue to feed all the strong temperatures that y'all going to be dealing with. You think you have hot now, it is going to spread out. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's just going to keep on coming. And not only the temperatures. On the outside of this ring of fire, you're going to see that you're going to have all this strong jet stream winds aloft. And this is coming to our country, guys. And this is what's going to bring your severe weather as well. And it does help bring potential derechos when you have this pattern set up. And our winds aloft are going to be very strong as we go through this pattern. And it is going to bring a lot of high, more damaging winds that we're going to have, guys all the way until next Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday as potential tropical storm hurricane Cindy in the Atlantic will bring some potential maybe winds and some rainfall towards the northeast. That's about it. And you can see this on the latest run from HRRR. Multiple lines of storms coming in for the south today and the upper Midwest. And this will continue also for tomorrow as this spins around in upper Midwest and brings all that Canadian wildfire smoke into our country. And those are very high levels. And so far we're looking like four and 5 p.m. It's gonna start picking up from 40 to 50, maybe even 60 or 70 miles per hour wind gusts immediately. And it's gonna spread across the south and it's gonna spread across the north central as well, all the way to eight and nine o'clock for tomorrow morning. Very high winds. Once again, picking up over 90 miles per hour winds just in the south central in the areas they've been having severe weather and big issues. So this is going to be a strengthening storm as we go through the next few days, especially for today. And when we slow it down, look at 15 minute increments of HRRR, which you can't see that far. You can see how strong these winds really are getting. Now HRRR is picking up over 110, almost 115. So take that level with a grain of salt, but what you can take it as is they see a hot spot. Somewhere from the pan on Texas, a little bit more southern and western Oklahoma, where the winds really are going to pick up for today, not to mention the upper Midwest. This is only until 10 p.m. tonight. Very strong winds. And you can see this when you look at your precipitation. So as you go through the day, you get a lot of storms for today and you get them in the south and you get them for the upper Midwest. And look at the bowing out that you get in that line of storms that is coming for overnight into the early morning hours. Bring a lot of winds with that. That is a big bowing feature right there. Then tomorrow, as this moves to the east, you got to think about all this smoke that's coming in, bringing unhealthy conditions, maybe even hazards. I will keep you updated. Those levels were very strong. So let's go through this for today. As you can see, you got an enhanced level. You have chances for hail. Now this is significant hail, at least two inches in diameter in the black, but you have the other levels as well. Here's your cities and states at risk for today. And the significant hail is the white line on top. Plus you also have chances for winds and significant winds. Right here in the black, that's at least 75 miles per hour wind gusts, at least hurricane force winds, guys. And that's in that big Bowen feature that I showed you just now. So here's your levels, here's your cities and states at risk, and your potential hurricane force winds is the white line on top. You also have chances for tornadoes today coming right in that. 2% and 5%, and this could continue to grow, guys. I see this going all weekend long. Here's your cities and states at risk for today. And this pattern is going to continue for tomorrow, for Saturday. You have chances for hail, even significant hail, at least two inches in diameter in that black. Here's your cities and states at risk for Saturday. And remember, the large hail is the white line on top. You also have chances for high winds for tomorrow. Here's your cities and states at risk, and this could ramp up as well. Plus, you have more tornado threats for tomorrow going all across Iowa. So watch out all you people with the farms. So here's your tornado threat so far for Saturday. Here's your cities and states at risk. I will keep you updated. And this continues guys. As we go through Sunday, we have another significant severe section right here in the black, at least 75 miles per hour wind gusts or two inches in diameter hail or both. I will update you every single day on this. So far, this is your cities and states at risk on Sunday for the severe weather. And you can see it has grown again, guys. Another 15% on Monday. And I was talking to a few of my viewers and they were worried about Monday because there is some strong storms, especially going through North Carolina. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. I will keep you updated every single day. 
And one of the worrying factors is if you look at SIPS and see what SIPS expects for Monday, SIPS expects a lot of growth on the severe weather for Monday, especially in this red section for South Carolina and North Carolina. Now, as of the update for the tropics this morning, National Hurricane Center isn't picking anything up on that tropical wave. I'm still showing it's coming towards the Caribbean. It could just be a group of disorganized thunderstorms, which would be great. And you don't see any formations coming on over here by the Yucatan. I'm still showing it could be a potential, at least a group of disorganized thunderstorms or a weak depression, maybe even a weak tropical storm coming into our Gulf. But here's your latest updates on the tropics. Tropical storm Brett is still expected to downgrade to a depression by the time it goes through Sunday morning. And you see the latest on a model track guidance. There is multiple locations showing that this could go towards the Bay of Campeche, maybe get into our Gulf guys. And it's seen by multiple model guidance. And this right here in the black line is your average and more than likely outcome that it could head towards the southern half of the Bay of Campeche. It could go west at this point, but it also can go north. And your latest update on Tropical Storm Cindy this morning, as you can see, as you go from the three days, which is this cone, all the way to the five days, it's expected to stay strong to a storm and then go down to a tropical depression. It's going to get some steer winds that's going to push this east northeast. It's going to get some shear that's going to downgrade. But as the shear takes a break, it's still going to steer to the east northeast. This could be a big threat for Bermuda, but it could strengthen up again once it gets away from that shear. Still getting pushed out, but it still could strengthen up for other people. So my followers in the Caribbean, this is your update. As far as the winds, you can see that pretty much y'all don't have anything to worry about the winds from Tropical Storm Cindy. It will not affect y'all. And so far, it may be passed by by Sunday morning, and the most likely time is going to be 12 hours later by Sunday evening. And still not showing any strong winds coming to the Northern Islands or Puerto Rico. Y'all have nothing to worry about from Tropical Storm Cindy. It is north side loaded. Matter of fact, GFS sees it turning even sooner. And nothing from the rainfall as well. You might get an inch. No big deal. You will be okay from Tropical Storm Cindy. And you can see this with GFS as well. It just goes away even sooner. Now the Euro shows that after it gets hit with this wind shear and the steering winds that it's going to sit there and spin for a little bit and put a lot in, in the Atlantic. But it could head towards Bermuda. So far not bringing you a lot of rainfall. But this will add up for the Northeast maybe bringing you some possible flooding. I will keep you updated. So far, GFS is still taking this further away. And you can see the latest on the model track guidance. A lot of them are green. The distance is going to get pushed away. But GFS is the most bullish. Let me show you GFS. You can see as you go towards Thursday that the steering winds really grabs it and pushes it. Now, this is letting you know with the arrows what direction is going to be pushing the flow. And this is going to be pushing this away. Could be a threat towards Nova Scotia, but it is going to be pushing it away, guys. There is no threat for the U.S. on Cindy. And you can see this with your wind shear that as Cindy starts moving a little bit further to the north, it encounters a lot of wind shear from that trough and it weakens it down. Now, in this model run, it still stays bullish, but it only weakens down just a little bit as it moves further to the north. Potentially a hurricane going towards Nova Scotia and then weakening down quickly. But you can see with the vorticity that GFS still shows it's not any threats, guys. It never showed that. Matter of fact, you can go see Levi Cowan. He's the one that gives us these beautiful tropical tidbits. He is a very smart meteorologist. In my opinion, he is the best one out there. Nobody is better than Levi. He'll let you know as well that there's no threat for the U.S. But it could be a threat towards Bermuda, so we got to watch out for Bermuda on that one as that pushes to the east. And you can see with the Euro, it agrees that this is just going to stay weak. GFS is the only one showing that bullish, guys. Maybe bring some rainfall. That's about it. Also trending with the Canadian, this is going to be something very weak. Maybe a group of disorganized thunderstorms. No big deal. Even the model track guidance is favoring right here in this black line that it will be pushing away. But at the same time, you can see the millibars do go down, so it will strengthen back up after it gets away from all this wind shear. But the steering winds keeps it away, guys. And it's seen by multiple model track guidance, guys. This is no threat for the U.S. And you can see the latest update in the Eastern Pacific. It is at 80% now, but this is still going to the West. No big threat, not even from Mexico. Now you can see all this with the latest runs on the model guidance. So you see with GFS that Brett goes into the Caribbean, then it goes into the Eastern Pacific, and that wobble has gone further to the west, guys, where it starts wobbling after it passes by, if that does anything. And you can also see that Cindy is going way up into the Atlantic, just like I posted on my community tab yesterday. There is no threats 
from Cindy. Maybe Nova Scotia might get a tropical depression, maybe a weak tropical storm, maybe Bermuda. So we do need to keep an eye out for them. And then that wave that's possibly coming towards the Caribbean could stay weak, could be a group of disorganized thunderstorms, and it could add to the factor and maybe still forming what's left from Brett after it goes into the Pacific. Something could stay around the American Gyre, and it could strengthen up maybe to a weak low pressure in the Gulf. And the update to 6Z shows the same thing, not only for Cindy, but it's also showing that that could form into the Gulf, maybe a weak tropical depression, and maybe get to a weak tropical storm. We'll keep our eyes on it. And this one right here is showing it's going towards Texas and Louisiana. And if you remember my video yesterday, Farmer's Almanac did predict that it could be a tropical storm threat coming towards Texas area. And the best news with the Euro, of course, which did predict Brett, guys, that is showing that none of those are going to do anything. But you can see here from our potential velocity anomaly update that we do still have all this favorable environment coming into the U.S. And we have some coming towards the Caribbean as we go through the beginning of July. But look right here for July 7th. This could be something we need to think about, guys. I will keep you updated. This is right in our region. And we look for a chance for a tropical depression to form according to the euro in five days. You see where Brett handles. You can see where Cindy handles. And it does possibly go towards a Yucatan for a brief period. And maybe something weak could form up out of that. And maybe that next wave could head towards the Caribbean. Thank you so much, most of all, for your time. I appreciate every single one of you. Please, above all things, above the severe weather, which is bad enough, above the tropics, Help people know about this alert. There's a lot of people that don't know what's going on with this air quality. I'm literally the only one covering this for the longest time now. Hopefully others will talk about it after seeing my video, which would be a great thing. The more we get out the word to others, the better. So if you have other people and you're watching my video and you have a lot of people following you, talk about this, please. This is very serious fact. Thank you so much for your time as well. Now today I want to talk about 2 Chronicles. Verse 7, 14 something we need so badly if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land amen we need you so bad father we need so much healing it is just going crazy and it's going to get even worse guys if people don't turn from their ways but it is written that they will not but let's just pray for them remember all glory always goes to god our father in heaven yahweh and i pray you hear his words i pray you pray to him and ask for forgiveness of your sin just like i do myself every day i pray to my father i need guidance from him just like you do we shouldn't make any moves without him for he wants the best for us. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father, so much. Please be aware of this air quality, guys. We're already in unhealthy, and I expect it to possibly get worse. I'll see you tomorrow.